Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do live streaming on your Zenfone. So there are a bunch of apps out there that allow you to do live streaming, such as Meerkat, Broadcast Me, and Stringwire. But today we're going to be using an app that Twitter recently purchased called Periscope. The great thing about live streaming on your mobile phone is that you can share all kinds of moments, from a celebrity walking by to a breaking news event. Or if you see something funny on the street, you can instantly broadcast it as it happens. Here's how it works. Once you download the app from the Google Play Store, you can log in using your Twitter account or your phone number. So right now I'm going to use my Twitter account. It's just going to authenticate my account and we should be in in a minute. So once you click the globe icon here, you'll have access to a list of live streams that are currently being broadcast by people around the world. These three thumbnails are kind of featured videos and they'll change every time you refresh them. Once you're ready to start your own broadcast, click this red button in the bottom right hand corner here. You'll have to give your broadcast a title. So let's say using Periscope with Zenfone. There we go. So now we're ready to start broadcasting. I'm going to click this red button here and we are now live. By double tapping the Zenfone screen, you can change your camera angle from the front to the back. So there's me, there's my cameraman, say hi. And as you can see, the camera quality on this phone is incredible. It's a lot better than many smartphones on the market. Some phones are even more expensive for the same quality. Here in the bottom right hand corner you can see these hearts flowing around. These are people uh, liking what they see. And in the bottom left hand corner here are viewers showing or sending you instant messages directly to you. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. So we're going to stop this broadcast now. The app allows you to save your video to your Zen phone. And Periscope will make your video available for replay within the next 24 hours. Down here these stats tell you how many people watched your video, the duration, also, you can replay it right here if you'd like. The best part about using Periscope on your Zen phone is that this phone can do some serious multitasking with its four gigabytes of RAM. It is even used for gaming, which requires a lot of power. But if you're doing live streaming on your phone, remember to have a stable internet connection as this affects your video's output quality. Before I go, let me give you a Zen UI tip. If you want to reduce your battery consumption, just click this broom icon called Boost. This will free up a lot of memory and will also make your phone a lot faster. And that's it for now. Let me know what you think on the comment section below. And we'll see you next time for another Zen How.